Let's talk about Dogecoin. Guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Money Mind Growth, where we talk about personal finances, investing, crypto, savings, and much more. In this video, I'm gonna talk about four things. One is, what is my current position of Dogecoin? Two, what is the community saying about Dogecoin right now? Three, what am I doing, especially now that there is a crypto correction? A lot of cryptos are taking a heavy hit. The date right now is May 23, 2021 so if you guys check out the news you'll see that uh, in the market it's not very good for a lot of cryptos and at the end of the video I'm gonna talk about my predictions what I think is gonna happen with dogecoin to see why I initially invested in dogecoin check out my previous video I'll put a link in the description below in that video I explained my logic behind investing in dogecoin my investments were initially before the GameStop controversy so so the cost of going in was very low. So disclaimer guys, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is just me talking about my experience, my story. So where did I buy my Dogecoin? So initially I went into Robinhood, bought a lot of Dogecoin from there. Then I went to Binance.us to buy Dogecoin. So I bought around 5,000 Dogecoins. So if I go to history, let me pull up my cost of going in, just so you guys have some context. So I initially bought Dogecoin on January 6, 2021. And I'll leave a screenshot here of like the details, but overall, um, I got in early in the stage, right before the GameStop controversy. Call it luck, but I got in before it spiked. So as of May 23, 2021, my current portfolio um, for this is currently sitting at 6,391.48 cents. If we look at May 7, 2021, the peak, um, we'll see that my portfolio was around 14K. So pretty good investment, especially since I only put like <laughs> around $300 into Dogecoin. There's a lot of pros and cons in, on these exchanges, especially on Robinhood. You can't really take out these Dogecoins and put it in your cold wallet. Uh, but you can do so in Binance.us. Right now, Robinhood doesn't let you uh, withdraw and put it in your, in your cold wallet. So that's one of the downsides. So just keep that in mind when you use Robinhood. All right, guys, so what is my plan right now? Number one, I'm holding. I'm not withdrawing anything. I'm not taking anything out, especially right now, since I've only hold it for less than a year, I would be hit with that short-term capital gains. And yeah, it's a lot. Don't wanna do that. So my strategy right now is to hold, buy some more, especially if it dips even lower, possibly less than 10 cents. All right, so why am I holding? All right, I'm gonna name some like reasons why. Uh, the first one is, one, is that they have active public developers working on the tech. So if you go on the GitHub, you'll see, you know, when's the last time they made any changes. They also have a Twitter account of the developers and the status of the tech. One of the core things that I look at when I invest is, do these coins, do these cryptos have active public developers? Are they working on the tech? It's very important, especially in the tech world, that you are able to innovate and to adapt really fast. So if a team can actually innovate and adapt really fast, then that is a positive sign, in, in my view, that this is something that you know it has potential to grow. I'm hesitant to invest in cryptos that don't have active public developers because um, there's this concept about rug pull, where crypto comes out, a token, and you know they get so much hype for this token then the creators of this token whoever they are they just abandoned it just recently there was this one crypto i'll probably put a screenshot here of how it happened um it's a it happened just recently i can't remember the name but i'll put a screenshot here but they ran away with all the money and uh yeah it happens because uh right now it's the wild west no one is really regulating this crypto system, this crypto mania. Um, so we're in the initial phase of early adoptions. And that means there's gonna be copycats. There's gonna be scammers out there that are trying to make the quick buck. Greed right now is high. Scammers are leveraging this, leveraging people's hype, leveraging people's emotions of FOMO to create these you know, meme coins, put so much hype into, into it, uh, market it to TikTokers or Instagrammers 
get so much hype, so much people to buy into it. And in a few months, boom, they run away with the money and leave everyone holding uh, some worthless coins. So watch out for those guys. Another reason why I'm holding is because of the market. So I'll put a link in the description below. And in that link, um, let me just pull it up right here. I have it since I have it here. So on this website, you'll see a list of merchants who are accepting Dogecoin. And you can see the trend um, of how many past year. So it's pretty cool. One thing that's really amazing is Mark Cuban. He posted on Twitter how um, his his own NBA team is accepting uh, Dogecoin to buy merch, so that's pretty cool. Um, and hopefully, maybe a lot of other NBA teams, you know, start to uh, to adapt to start to use crypto. The more merchants that start to use, start to accept Dogecoin, the more validity it has, the more value it has, the more adoption people will use it more. And one day, maybe it's going to be something that we all use instead of the US dollar, especially right now since the US dollar is losing value. If you check on the news, there's a lot of you know <laughs> highlights of inflation, inflation over here, inflation over there. And number three as to why I'm holding Dogecoin is because of the average transaction fee. So right now, um, again guys, it's May 23, 2021, the average transaction fee is around 3.09 Doge, which translates to 0.932 US dollars. It's very low compared to Bitcoin. So if we go to Bitcoin guys, let me check out what is the Bitcoin's average transaction fee. Right now it is 0.00051 BTC, which translates to $17.17. So Dogecoin's transaction fee is pretty low compared to Bitcoin. For me guys, if I have to use a form of currency that has a high transaction fee, then I'm unlikely going to use it because especially like if I'm buying like a small thing, the transaction fee is going to cost more, <laughs> more than the, you know, the value of the good, then I'm not going to use it. <laughs> it's like going to an ATM, you know, I'm hesitant to go because I have to pay high fees, but if I have to, I have to, but if I don't have to, then <laughs> uh, see you later ATM. So another reason why I'm holding Dogecoin is because of the community. It's very strong. So I'll put a link in the description, but I'll put a chart here of the community's growth, the number of, so the way I'm, you know, analyzing community growth is using the Reddit subreddit. Um, there's other forms, there's a Facebook group as well, Twitter group. Um, but for my presentation, <laughs> um, I'm looking at the subscribers on the Dogecoin subreddits. So in 2014, there were like around 54K subscribers. So right now we're sitting at 1.8 uh, subscribers on the subreddit. For me guys, when I look at cryptos, I look at the community. You know, what, where are they coming from? Are they coming from a good place? What's the history? And if you look at the history of Dogecoin, you'll see that in the past they've done a lot of uh, nonprofit work. And that's something for me that is really good. So that's a good sign that, you know, it has a really, you know, positive community, not toxic, nothing harmful, just positive. The future is amazing. No one really knows. There's a lot of timelines of how this could all play out, how crypto could all play out. There is the optimistic approach where, yes, Dogecoin becomes a great value. There is that <laughs> very negative approach of life where, you know, none of this is mean anything. It will drop back to zero. If the future is a digital and decentralized currency, then which one will play out? Is it going to be Bitcoin? Is it going to be Dogecoin? Is it going to be Harmony? Is it going to be Ethereum? Uh, no one really knows. There's a lot of timelines of how this could all play out. And that's the fun of life, guys. No one truly knows what's gonna happen. There's just probabilities. I have a question for you guys. What kind of videos do you want me to create about Dogecoin? Leave your comments below. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys wanna support the channel, I'll leave Patreon below. You'll get behind the scenes content, especially my portfolio of what I'm selling or buying. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.